Hello everyone. Welcome to Tail Whale TV. Today, we will cover the topic of production possibility curve, also known as PPC. First, let's see that what is the production possibility curve. It is a graph that shows the maximum combinations of any two categories of goods or services that can be produced in an economy. Now, let's look in detail with an example. Let's just assume that a country can only produce two types of goods. Wooden furniture and oil, because it has limited factors of production. In the figure below, if the producers wish to produce more wooden furniture from B to A, then the production of oil will have to decrease. The opportunity cost of producing more furniture is producing less oil. Now, we will discuss that what each of the points means in the graph. Let's start with point A. In point A, some resources are being used to produce wooden furniture and some are used for producing oil. In point B, more oil is being produced, and less furniture is being produced. In point C, all resources are dedicated to making oil. In point D, all resources are dedicated to making furniture. Point E is beyond the PPC and lies outside the curve so it is currently unattainable. Point F is within the curve so the production of both goods can increase as some resources are yet not being used. Now, we will see the reasons for movements along the curve. The movements along the curve results in opportunity cost. The shifts along the curve happen when more of one product is produced and the production of the other product is decreased. Now, let's see the reasons for the outward shift of the curve. The outward shifts along the curve happen due to two reasons. The first reason is an increase in the quality of factors of production, for example, highly skilled labor. Another reason is due to an increase in the quantity of factors of production, such as a discovery of new resources or an increase in net migration of labor which will increase the labor in quantity. Now, we'll see the reasons for the inward shift in the curve. The inward shifts along the curve happen due to one reason. Detrimental changes may cause the curve to go inward. For example, due to storms, earthquakes or tsunami which might have destroyed the factors of production. And, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you had any problems, ask us in the comments below.